due to your top table. So Stuart, thank you very much for joining me. It's been a successful launch. Um, what are your opinions of it? It's been a good day, hasn't it? Yeah, superb day. I mean, you know, there's some genuine sort of appreciation in the room, I think, for what we were talking about and all the different areas of, of cage cricket, from the street to the elite and all the individual um, inputs as well. So, yeah, we're delighted with how it's gone today and, um, yeah, very, very pleased. It's really given it some momentum, hasn't it, to move forward, obviously, with the established a guest here today obviously supporting it it's only going to grow isn't it i think that's the point we, you know the guys originally the, the founders of this have been working on it for four years i've been with them for a, you know a few months now and what we've been trying to do is bring this together and bring this to life and i think that's exactly what's happened today that it will kind of gather pace from now um, there are is there's a fantastic team of people linked to cage cricket now we've seen all of those people here today and uh, yeah the, the sky's the limit i think for the project right now Obviously you were one of the creators, if not the only creator of 2020 cricket. If you compare that to cage cricket, it's a new concept, but it's just as innovative, isn't it? I think this, where the similarities are, it's about broadening the appeal of our national summer sport. You know, I'm a massive cricket fan, and I'd love to see the kind of nuances of the long form of the game carry on forever, the test matches and championship cricket. But the reality is that people live in faster, faster times these days, and they have less leisure time, less, less you know, disposable income to spend on, on cricket. So things like 2020, things like cage cricket, are really about just broadening the appeal of the game and getting more people interested in it, picking up a bat and a ball, going to see some sort of you know elite form of the, the game as well and onwards from there and finally i know you put up the strategic plans for the next year or so of what you want to achieve but looking ahead in the next couple of years what what realistically would you love to achieve or love to see cage cricket where it would be oh, I think there's no reason why we can't have cage cricket activity in every major urban area in the country in, in the next sort of three to five years i think it's it's you know very very possible that, that will happen every authority we talk to Every sort of delivery agency we talk to are interested in taking cage cricket into, into what they're doing. Beyond that, we want to have a serious elite version of the game where we have you know, the best players in the world playing each other in cage cricket events around the world, so uh, not just in the UK. So, uh, yeah, we're very excited about the next few years. Thank you for your time, Stuart. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much.